Dr. Sarah. Welcome back to One on One at Dirty Water Media. I'm here with Tom. We are over at Alco, my favorite new restaurant. But Tom's going to have to say his own last name because you can't say it. You can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, Tom. It's okay. Nobody else can either. Schlesinger <laughs> Guidelli. All right. He has one of the best locations, I think, coming up here in Boston. And I'm so excited. Now, you work over at Island Creek before. Yeah. And, my, and another one of my favorite restaurants. So yeah, I worked at, uh, I opened the original location on Island Creek Road and worked there for six years. Right? Oh wow. For six okay. years. And uh, I was at Eastern Center about three months after it opened for four years. Oh, so you are the man in town. So oh, you know, nice. you know? <laughs> So is that where the concept for this new restaurant is? Yeah, this restaurant is, is really a, you know, it's a lot of my work history. I grew up in the restaurant business in okay. Cambridge, my uncle on the East Coast Road for 30 years. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit of my time as a young child, you know, going and doing coat check in that restaurant, and then as an adult working behind the bar, Eastern Standard, Craig Young Main, and, and Adam Creek. Gosh, so that's a lot of experience. The concept here for the food, by the way, the mac and cheese is my favorite, and I like the avocado appetizer. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yes. The whole concept is farm to farm coast. Yeah. Everything's from kind of farm to table. Yeah, it's got a lot of uh, farm-to-table elements to it. Okay. Um, there's a small part of uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island that spans the su just south of the Cape oh, to Newport cool. that's called the Farm Coast. I like that. Um, that's where that came and from. And so there's an inspiration of my time spent there where agrarian farming meets uh, fishing. Okay. You know, and I think a lot of times we think about coastal food and we think about fish exclusively, but we don't think about the beautiful vegetables and animals that are grown in and around the communities that are supported. That's awesome. Um, so it's really where the where the intersection of those three uh, come together. And then we, as we looked specifically at you know, the New England farm coast, right. we started to think about, well, are there other farm coasts in the world, right. and what are the spices that they use, and can we take New England products and add those kind of spices and things? And it's wonderful. I've already tasted everything. I actually saw a few again. It's true. And then you have these wonderful wines and drinks, specialty drinks. Yep. So you've learned a lot. Tell us, what's your favorite cocktail to make here? Special. Oh goodness, my favorite cocktail to make. Um, well, uh, have you had the tequila and mushroom cocktail? No. Sabroso what? old fashioned. Yeah, so um, it's a mushroom infusion that we do um, using tequila in a in a similar style to the traditional old fashioned. Oh. Um, that's a really cool one. I'm gonna have to try that after. Yeah. Yeah. We got one made for you. Alright. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of different really cool ones. So right. we try to use both uh, savory and non savory. Well, that's definitely Interesting different. Ways. <laughs> yeah. It's very different, and I'm excited to try it later. Um, so this is going to be my notice spot for the public space, and it's because of the location. The location is right here in the Lovejoy, and it's by the Zagan Bridge. You can't see it? I'm like acting like you can see it, but it's right it's over there. there. <laughs> we'll send some pictures out of that. And it's just in the Congress building. Such a great concept. Beautiful inside here, guys. So you guys are getting down here. Where can they look you up online, Instagram? Uh, the restaurant is Alco Boston on Instagram. Uh, the website is alcoboston.com. And yeah, we're uh, Ready check to us go? out. Come Ready on down. Go. I'm going to go have some tequila and mushrooms. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tom, for stopping by or letting us stop by.